Welcome back to the channel everyone. Recently I've been asked by many to shed some light on the rack system I use to haul around my Hobie Outback. Today, we'll jump right into that. Before we dive into the rack system that I use to haul around the Hobie Outback, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for all upcoming videos and DIY mods. Alright guys, let's talk about the rack system that I currently have on my truck. Uh, if you know me, you know I am not a big believer in trailers or, you know, throwing the kayak in the back of the truck due to the fact that I like to use that space. Um, with trailers, you have to register it, you have to maintain it, you have to do all these things, you know. The only real place you can utilize a trailer is at a boat ramp. Who wants to put a kayak out of a boat ramp? So, I searched and searched and, you know, wasn't really happy with any system that I found, so I pretty much made a Frankenstein system, if you will. This is made up of two to three different rack systems. Now, the reason why I like the rack system on top of the truck, there's two main reasons. One of the reasons is it's safety. If I have the kayak sticking out of the bed of the truck, the person behind me can easily slam into it if they're not paying attention, causing a lot of damage to the kayak itself. You know, however much it may have cost, you might as well buy a new kayak at that point. Needless to say, the damage that they're going to cause to the front of the truck as well. I steer away from putting the kayak into the bed of the truck for that reason. It's lower to the ground. It's pretty much bumper height for any other car. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't use a trailer as well, you know. Um, up here, it's safe. If a car slams into the back of my truck, it might hit that pole there and bring it down a little bit, but the kayak will be all right. It's not going to go flying through, you know, the back window or anything. Um, so if a car or truck slams into a trailer, there goes your trailer, your kayak, and probably the back of your car as, or, or truck as well. Um, with this system, I put it on top, it's safe. I'm still able to utilize the bed of my truck for many things because I like to take my kayak when I go camping, you know, to the beach, out with the family. So. It helps me in that regard for storage and, you know, carrying capabilities. Um, like I said earlier, the, kayak, the rack system is made up of two to three different rack systems. I started off with the Voodoo system, which we will get a close up in a little bit. From there, the cross beams that the Voodoo system came with weren't very sturdy. I utilized the Voodoo system because they were the first on the market to be able to work with the Tunao cover you know, to keep everything locked and safe. So, with that said, I researched and I found another company called Boondocks. And they put out a rack system called um, the uh, Outriggers, if I'm not mistaken. So, I kind of modified the Voodoo racks to be able to hold the Outriggers um, crossbars or cross members. And, uh, you know, it worked out perfectly. I've got enough clearance here to be able to use my storage box. And, um, you know, it's height and it's sturdy enough. Now, when I put my kayak up the first time, it was safe. It was a little flimsy at the back end, but it was safe. You know, this holds up. I think it's like 500 pounds. And, um, but, you know, I, I was still not convinced. So, I went out and purchased a Yakima bed extender. And, um, you know, that holds up the back of the kayak here pretty well, or the back of the rail system. You know, that's not going anywhere here. So, this worked out perfectly with that. You know, everything is level, the kayak is level. 
and um, it's safe. In a nutshell, this is the rack system I went with. All right, so now let's get a close up of the rack system here. As you can see here, these are actually from Voodoo Fab, okay? I've had to cut these here a little bit to be able to fit the crossbars from the um, Boondocks Outriggers rack, all right? This hook that they have here is supposed to make these crossbars sit flat on the bed of your truck. I didn't want that because I wanted, again, to be able to use my to now cover, okay? The system itself, it's all made of aluminum. That is good. The only issue I have with the Boondocks Outrigger system is that the paint chips off, as you can see there. That is the only issue I have with them. Now, everything is aluminum. As you can see, it's quite thick as well. So it's gonna hold up quite well. All right, the pads are nice and cushy. So they're gonna support your kayak as well. You know, you have multiple tie down points. Up front, you can see the rubber bumper, if you will, there. That bumper is what uh, holds the nose of your kayak in place. It's recommended for our outbacks to put on the third hole up on that pole. Okay, it's held in place by some U-bolts. And here's the Yakima bed extender that I utilize to support the back end of the uh, boondocks system. I'm able to utilize my uh, bed cover here, you know, to lock anything in. Oh, and by the way, I also have made these crossbars here off of, uh, you know, some boat items to be able to hold my rods. Let me go to the other side here. Hold my, uh, my rods straight up right next to the kayak um, when I'm going kayak fishing. So I don't have to worry about my expensive rods being, you know, thrown around in the back of the bed. Now let's go over how easy it is to, you know, deploy and put away this rack system, okay? There's two pins here. You know, you pull those out. Just like that. You go ahead and push this in. Put the pins back in. And you go ahead and remove this Yakima truck bed extender. That's it. I usually leave this on top of the truck. I don't take it off. There's really no need to take it off. You know, I can still get to the storage or I can open the bed. Now, when I have the Yakima bed extender on, I can only open the bed to here. So you got to be cautious with that. But I don't carry this around all the time, only when I'm using, utilizing my kayak. To deploy it, same situation. You take the pins out. Pull the racks out. Right there, find the hole. Put the pins back in. Now, the system has now three pads. Okay, two on top, one here on Yakima. Once I have the kayak on top, when I strap it down, I strap around the Yakima bed extender, solidifying this to the point where it doesn't move. There's a V rubber bumper up at the top that stops the kayak up there so it will never go flying forward okay that's another safety situation which helped me make my decision on boondocks i hope you enjoyed the video on my rack system for the truck if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe if you have any comments or questions please leave them below and i'll do my best to answer them with that said We'll see you in the next one.